Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillah ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulillah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve sellem ecma'in. Allahümme enfa'ni bima allemteni ve allimni bima yanfa'ni ve zidni ilmen inneke entel alimun hakim. My topic today is about the cardiophrenic angle mass, the differential diagnosis, common causes, less common causes and rare causes and the clues for the diagnosis. Keys for differential diagnostic issues, mnemonics, the differential diagnosis can be collected in two words, fat, bad, fat, and bad, pericardic cyst, adenopathy, and diaphragmatic hernia. The common causes of the cardiophrenic mass lesion include pericardial cyst, pericardial fat pad, lipomatosis, and pericardial fat necrosis, morgagni hernia, adenopathy. Clues for the common diagnosis in Pericardial cyst, it is benign disorder due to anomalous outpouching of the parietal pericardium. 5 to 10 percent of all mediastinal masses, it is located on the cardiophrenic angle on the right side about 70 percent and on the left side about 10 to 40 percent. Size, it is dependable and it is varies and in ranging from 2 to 30 centimeter in diameter. Morphology, it is appear as round, sharp margin, unilocular in 80% and 20% it is multiloculated and wall it is imperceptible non-calcified, sometimes it is calcified, no internal enhancement or enhance, enhancing rim. Here we see chest X-ray in a patient with large right cardiophonic mass lesion seen obscuring the right cardiac border located anteriorly above to be pericardial cyst. Here another patient with a CT scan, contrast axial cut, and you see the right mass, cardiophonic mass lesion of cystic uh, density, water density, and the wall is thin wall, non-enhancing, consistent with pericardial cyst. Here another patient with female patient with chest X-ray, there is soft tissue mass on the right cardiophonic angle, above to be pericardial cyst. Another patient, pericardial cyst on the right cardiophonic angle, water density with no wall enhancement. And Sometimes the differential diagnosis also include thymic cyst and the bronchogenic cyst. Bericardial fat bed, common normal finding can mimic pneumonia or on radiograph. Lipomatosis, there is exoparent deposition of uncapsulated adipose tissue in the mediastinum. CT, homogeneous fat attenuation mass does not compress or invade the adjacent structures, does not enhance with contrast, and may have enlarged pericardial, pericardial fat beds. Pericardial fat 
necrosis, a rare benign condition of unknown etiology, patient usually presented with acute bloatic chest pain, imaging and pathologic features similar to those of fat necrosis in epibluric appendicitis. As we see here, in patient with mediastinal widening and show fat around the mediastinum and around the heart and in the pericardial fat bed. And this is lipomatosis due to obesity. Here, this is axial CT scan show high density fat in the left side fat bed due to pericardial fat necrosis associated with minimal pleural fusion and this is self-limiting disease and we see also here a donut sign with swearing of water density in the pericardial fat bed. Morgagni hernia, it is rare, 2% of all the formatic hernia, congenital, there is congenital defect through the anterior bara sternal hiatus between the diaphragmatic muscle and the ribs, a space of larry. Location, it is primary right side. Heart limits the herniation on the left side. Smooth and sharply marginated. Commonly contains a mental fat. May contain bowel, particularly transverse colon. Omentum contains vessels compared to the fat bed, which have sparse vessels. Air in the mass should suggest hernia. If there is a blow effusion, suspect a strangulation or bowel in the hernial sac. Here you see, we see chest X-ray shows cardiophonic mass on the right side. And in the CT, axial CT scan, we see fat density mass with some vessels consistent with Morgagni hernia. Here also the differential diagnosis is a large pericardial fat bed. Also is in differential diagnosis, liposarcoma and thymolipoma are also in differential diagnosis. Here, there is a white cardiophonic mass lesion on the right side, and our coronal CT scan, we see a defect, and the defect, and there is herniation of mental fat through the defect to the mediastinum. And we see the mesenteric vessels through the, the mass uh, uh, herniated fat. Adenopathy, lymphadenopathy from lymphoma, most common cause in this location, metastatic, metastatic tumor from thorax or thorax on or abdomen may also affect these nodes. Mental radiation therapy, cardio cardiac blocker used to protect heart area under treated. Recurrent fat bad sign enlarging recurrent nodes from lymphoma and under treated pericardial lymph nodes. Nodes may be irradiated since field was blocked initially. Appearance or enlargement of fat bad heralds development of Adenopathy. 
here we see mass in the Siberian Mediastinum with some narrowing of the trachea associated with mass lesion in the right cardiophrenic area angle consistent uh, with mass lesion from patient with uh, Hodgkin lymphoma. Here are another patient's mass lesion in the right cardiophrenic angle following radiation therapy. Above to be adenopathy. Here another patient with uh, cardiophonic mass lesion and the mass in the lower zygous nodes. Lymphadenopathy after treatment with uh, radiation, there is uh, no definite or apparent mass lesion noted on the chest X ray. Less common causes, we have thymoma, middle lobe collapse, pectus deformity. Clues for less common diagnosis. Thymoma, most common primary anterior mediastinal mass, oval or lobulated mass. It is homogeneous enhancement and is common with a small tumor, more heterogeneous enhancement for larger tumor. One third of half calcification present on CT scan, usually thin and linear within capsule. Cystic region and necrosis are common in one third of patients, especially with larger tumor and may be dominant feature. Baroneoblastic syndrome include seen in 40%. Myasthenia gravis about 35%, bubid cell ablasia 5%, hypogammaglobulinemia uh, in about 10%. Here we see mass lesion on the right uh, cardiophonic angle, obliterating the right cardiac border, located anteriorly, and both to be thymoma. Here it is heterogeneous mass lesion in the right cardiophrenic angle with a partially separated mass uh, connected to the uh, to the thymus tissue and consistent with thymoma. Right middle lobe collapse. Right middle lobes, smallest of all lobes. Indirect sign from collapse uncommon. High love shift in a frequent lobes collapse medially towards and white border, white middle lobe syndrome. See catarising cases of the white middle lobe due to prior pneumonia and bore collateral drift. White middle lobe bronchus is a small, susceptible to compression from adjacent lymph adenopathy. Here we see L defined density noted. Here we see just X ray BA and lateral view. In the BA view, we see L defined mass obliterating the right cardiac border. And on the lateral chest X ray, see collapse of the right middle lobe. There is no air bronchogram. Possibility of mass endobronchial mass lesion cannot be excluded for bronchoscopy, and the bronchoscope revealed mass lesion in the uh, in the bronchus, and it is carcinoid. Pictus deformity, pictus excavatum, seen in about uh, one to in. 300 to 400 births, most common chest wall abnormality, 90%. Right, right half border frequently obliterated because of the burst sternum, replaces the aviated lung at the 
white half border, half displaced to the left side and rotated may cause false cardiomegaly. The wave causes but important fibrous tumor impending cardiac valvulus. Clues for rare causes, fibrous pleural tumor, it is uncommon, mesenchymal tumor of the pleura, about 80 to 85 percent are benign, 15 to 20 percent are malignant, most common location, inferior hemothorax, and often large tumor seen more than 7 centimeter, it grows slowly, over years, lobulated, sharply marginated mass with longitudinal access parallel to the chest wall. Pedunculated lesions change their location with position and characteristic imaging feature. A rare pedicle may be twist and detached tumor. Global effusion seen in about 20% more common with malignant lesion. Calcification seen in about 5% and it is more common in malignant lesion. Tumor are often enhanced with contrast, hydrotrophic, hypertrophic osteoarthropathy seen in about 17 to 30% of cases. Hypoglycemia, it is rare and it is seen in about 5% of cases, and if it is seen, known as dodge Botter syndrome. Recurrent may occur even when benign tumor requires long-term surveillance. Here we see large mass, dense mass in the Right code cardiophonic angle, axial CT scan with contrast C lobulated mass lesion with enhancement homo uh, with attached to the blower with the vertical. And the diagnosis of fibrous tumor is mid. Inventing cardiac valvulus herniation of the heart into hemothorax generally takes three days for adhesion to form between cut edge of the pericardium and the heart. Usually occur in immediate postoperative period, most commonly present with sudden shock. Prior to herniation, there may be tight spherical cardiac bulge like top of a snow cone as heart began to herniate through the pericardial defect. Here we see patient with uh, in the recovery room following right in pneumonectomy to demonstrate focal contour abnormality in the right cardiophonic angle. The mass is due to partial herniation of the heart through pericardial defect. A uh, few hours later, the mass is uh, enlarged and we see cardiac valvulus and widening of the mediastinum with obstruction of the superior vena cava. Thank you for listening. Hoping you benefit from this mini talk and hoping to see you soon in another talk.